We're going to have a look at line spacing within paragraphs. For that we need some paragraphs to text to work with, so I've just already typed in equals ran brackets five comma five, which will give me five paragraphs, and each paragraph has got five sentences within it. You'll be aware of a range of different selection techniques. Most people tend to click and drag to select. Really, at this advanced level, that's not a very accurate way of doing it. Try to get used to some advanced selection techniques, such as double-clicking a word. We'll select just that word. Triple-clicking anywhere inside a paragraph. We'll select just that paragraph. Clicking in the margin, we'll select a line. Double-clicking in the margin, we'll select a paragraph. And triple-clicking in the margin, we'll select the whole document. So a range of selection techniques there. So I said we were going to look at um, applying line spacing within a paragraph. And that's really key, the, the wording within a paragraph. Line spacing is one of those formatting options that works on a paragraph. It doesn't work on a single word. It doesn't work on a single line. It works on the whole paragraph. Anything that works on a whole paragraph means that you don't need to select the paragraph. The computer will already know that this will be applied to the whole paragraph. So you just have to make sure that your cursor insertion point, just where you click there, is somewhere inside the paragraph that you want to work with. So I've selected that first paragraph there. And to do line spacing, we can use this icon on the toolbar, the line spacing icon. And when I click the drop down, you can see we've got a range of options. It's currently set on one. That's a line spacing of one. I can adjust it simply by pointing and clicking. If I want double line spacing, I click on two. And you can see that it's giving me double line spacing between the lines within that one paragraph only, because I only had one paragraph clicked on. If I want to work with more than one paragraph, I can. I'll select two paragraphs. And we'll go back to, we'll make this one and a half. And it's applied that one and a half line spacing to both those paragraphs. So I'm just going to work on the first paragraph again. So remember, I don't need to select it as long as I've got the cursor insertion point somewhere within that paragraph. I can then choose the line spacing and down to more. This opens the paragraph dialog box. If I just close that down a second to show you that it's exactly the same as if I clicked on format and then paragraph. It's the same dialog box and here's the area we're interested in, line spacing. And we've got all the same options we had earlier except we've got a little bit more control. For example, I can have it exactly and then dial up the dimensions that I want based on points, which is font size. Or I can use multiples and perhaps I can have five line spacing. So that is line spacing.